What's up guys, it's Captain Ross, East Allen Aquatics, and this is the 55 gallon reveal. Now, I've done so much with this tank in the past, just did a video on getting rid of algae, which I enacted those strategies again to work on it. I still got stragglers here and there, but that's just going to be, algae's going to be prevalent in any tank, um, unless you're some sort of superman and are immune to algae, but... It's going to be prevalent, you just have to keep working on getting rid of it. So, what I have here for you today is my 55 gallon planted. Now in the past it's been native tank and all this, and kind of like almost a planted tank, and honestly it's been really sucky and terrible. But today I'm showing you what I've wanted for this tank for the longest time. An aquascaped planted tank and finally making some good use out of that uh, Phoenix Planet Plus. So I'm gonna go over this tank like you haven't seen any of my tanks, bef any of this tank before, so I'm just gonna go through everything. Starting with the the fish and plants. So what I got for you today, let's zoom on in here. <clears throat> got a silver angel this guy is vicious. He'll go for live food. I feed him guppies a lot. And, well, guppy fry. He's very vicious of a feeder. He's super quick compared to other angels I've had. And he's pretty nice size. Then we got my little blue pinoy angel that just hasn't been growing very much. He gets enough food, but he just doesn't grow too fast, which is fine. I still love him. He's awesome. Got some good color there. Then we're getting into the rainbows here. Got two Australian rainbows, three ornate rainbow fish. So the Australian have that yellow, and there's the, there they are. And the ornates are those. Hard to follow them. They look sim. They all look about the same, but I guarantee you those are ornate rainbows. They have the little red bits on their fins. Then, he just popped out down there. Let's see if he comes out again. I have a an albino rainbow shark. There he is. Just chills down there. He's hanging out in there. But I have an albino rainbow shark. One albino quarry. I hope to get more. Maybe about five of them. They'd be a good cleanup crew down here. And then I have a bristlenose pleco that always hides, so he's hard to find. If I see him throughout the video, I'll be sure to focus in on him. But he likes to hide. And then, last but not least, is my Festivum. Awesome fish. I don't think I've done a video on this guy yet. He's pretty much like a mixture of a Severum and an angel fish. At least as far as I can tell. He's beautiful when he gets his color going. He changes his color depending on his mood, it seems. And he's a really awesome fish. I love his gill pattern, gill cover patterns, when he comes out again. Let's see if I can get this. On his gill, he has those green, emeraldy spots. So he's just really cool. He's going to get really big. Hopefully, he'll make, he makes a great addition to this tank so far. There's my Pinoy Angel, just went in that cave. He's so curious. Just hanging out in the cave. Oh, there he goes. So I guess that's one good thing about being small. Anyway, let's get on with the rest of the stuff in the tank. So let's uh, move to plants. And I got a lot of plants in here. Um, a guy in a on the PR Aquatics forum, shipped me some plants free of charge. I just had to pay shipping costs. Um, but yeah, they make good additions, and then I also have my own plant. So we'll start up here. I got Java Moss, Pelia Moss, if you can see that mixed in there, and then Java Fern, and then a little bit of Hygrophilia there. So that's what we're rocking up at the top of that driftwood. Down here, I have some. Blixa japonica, 
Contortionist Valcineria. More Jungle Val. Well, not Jungle Val. More Corkscrew Val back there. More uh, Java Moss, Java Fern. This is pretty. That's pretty much all that. What all that is. Then we have Cypress Hell Fairy there. Cypress Hell Fairy. It's not. I don't know if it's gonna make it. It didn't seem that great when I got it shipped, but it was free, so it was just leftover stuff he had. Um, I got some Java Moss tangled around there. More Blixage of Hanukkah there. There's supposed to be Pago Stemmen in here, but I'm not exactly sure what type of Pago Stemmen he called it. Um, he just called it Pago Stemmen, so I don't know if it's what uh, special type it is. Um, so I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but I definitely have a lot of different plants in here, so if you let me know which one it is, that'd be awesome. In the back, I got more uh, Cypress Helfry. Blixa Japonica, Blixa, more Blixa, and then I've got this stuff, which I don't know what it is. Maybe Rotala Indica, a smaller version, maybe a smaller thin leaf Bacopa of some sort. And then I got, I think, Foxtail in the corner. It looks a little bit different than Hornwort. And then Water Sprite, I think. I've never kept Water Sprite before. I think it's Water Sprite. It's got some red color in there. So yeah, lots of different plants. Um, they should work under this Phoenix uh, Planet Plus 24-7. I've done reviews on this in the past. An initial review, which got a ton of views and likes and stuff. Thank you guys for all that. That's awesome. And then I got the uh, three-month update, too, on that as well. Um, <clears throat> as for equipment besides that, I got an Emperor 400, the old version. And I've got a Penguin 350. And then I have an Aquion 50 watt heater. And honestly, it's keeping it at the level, at the temperature I need. I know more wattage is better. And I will work to get, I have more. I just got to get it all situated. You know how it is when you first start up a tank. You use what you have and then you can work with other stuff. So yeah, I have, it keeps at the temperature I need. I'm gonna try and get another one in there too just to make it so that one doesn't have to work as hard. And then I have an Indian almond leaf down there so that's why the color of the water is a little bit yellow. And that keeps the pH where I need it. So let me give you a good couple different views of the tank. I really like the aquascape. A lot of other people say they're impressed by it too. So we got that view. I think it looks pretty and natural. We'll just go throughout so you can see. Once I get more fish in here, um, I'm going to do a video, just put it to some music and then go throughout the tank and let you see it in action. It should be pretty good. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. I have a contest coming out soon. I know I've been saying that, but it is soon, and I got it worked out. With the sponsor, it's going to be awesome. So, stay tuned. I'm going to have a bunch of reviews coming out, too, of Cobalt Aquatics products. And it's going to go hand-in-hand -hand with the contest, so you just... Keep watching and stay updated. I'll see you all later. Thanks for watching. Adios.